Welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss Excel in detail. When we turn on Excel, uh, we see a worksheet like this. So in this worksheet, uh, we will be discussing from basics like uh, what are columns and rows, what is cell. For example, A, B, C, these alphabets represent columns while 1, 2, 3, 4 these number represent rows the intersection of uh, row and column is a cell uh, we will be entering our data in these cells when we press tab the cursor move in horizontal direction and by enter it moves in vertical direction to be more specific it goes downwards now to select number of cells press shift and then by ar arrow keys you can select uh, as much cells as you want then you can make your own selection by uh, naming this current selection I'll just type selection and then press enter so now I have saved this selection in my worksheet. I can uh, turn it on from this drop down arrow. Now when I open this selection and uh, press tab, the cursor will only move in this selected number of cells. Uh, same goes for enter button so this can be useful for some of the users to delete something just select and press delete button in the keyboard to change the size of the uh, cell we can move rows and columns by just dragging them. Suppose I uh, want to uh, increase size of uh, D1. I will uh, increase the size of the uh, column width and row width. So I, I've just typed a random uh, word like name. I can change the text. Uh, I can change its color just like uh, MS uh, Word it's easy uh, most of the people already know so after the basics I'll just show how to align a text uh, for aligning we can use these three steps uh, and this is for uh, left right and middle alignment the upper one are for height adjustment now I can also align or rotate a text in any direction in any angle that I want I can also change its direction from top to bottom or from bottom to top do it from here so after that to merge two cells this can be used merge and center I'll just undo it for undo control Z can be used like other softwares now I'll just discuss numbering I'll type money in here and show you how numbering works I'll just type some random digits like 50, 75 and 80 and then 90 when I uh, select these uh, digits I can change the format of the digits from general to numbers the numbers are in decimal I can increase and decrease the number of zeros after the decimal 
uh, I can change it to currency to change the currency from euro or pound to your own required currency you can select symbol from here I'll just select uh, Pakistani rupees so that's how it looks <coughs> you can also uh, format it into accounting style just like that uh, then short date long date when you click on percentage uh, it automatically multiplies 100 with the figure and assign a percentage symbol next to it you can change into fraction suppose I uh, enter some decimal value next to 50 it will automatically convert into fraction just like that so you can use any uh, type of numbering or formatting easily now we will see a conditional forming the uh, formatting sorry in conditional formatting we can uh, segregate uh, the required data suppose I want to see format the cell that are greater than 70 so it will show me all the cells that have number greater than 70 if I change it to 80 it will show me the cells that have bigger number than 80 and uh, when I assign it 90 it shows nothing so that's how you do conditional formatting it is helpful when you have a large number of uh, uh, a big data and uh, out of the bigger worksheet you want to extract the data uh, in conditional formatting you have some other options like less than between suppose I want to see data between two uh, digits table formatting is just like uh, MS Word so I will skip that here I have a table uh, of uh, 10 number of students with uh, total marks out of 100 in each subject so to sum the numbers uh, for example total number of first student it's very easy let's press sum now select and drag till the last subject from B to F and then press enter you will get the total number of the student in all five subjects now you can drag it down by dragging down uh, the formula actually drags down as well and applies it to all the num all the students now to find average of each student in all subjects it is very easy again go to average select the number of cells and let's pre press enter and that's the average of uh, students in uh, in all subjects so after that I will just type total marks and that would be 500 as each subject carries 100 marks and there are five subjects so I'll just type 500 two times and then when I drag it all the cells will have 500 automatically to uh, again to border it it's very easy select the cells go to borders and click on it so now after total marks it is interesting to find a percentage and to find percentage it is very easy just uh, 
use percentage cell so this is a percentage cell type equal select this cell as the obtain marks then slash for division total marks and it gives the total percentage now by clicking the corner it will it will apply to the rest of the student as well so you can see the percentages of every student now to find out grades we will be applying if condition for example a b c d let's say only f so if uh, someone scores 75 or above he will get a if uh, someone scores uh, if someone scores 60 or above he will get B if someone scores 50 or above he will get C so to find out grades I will just type if equation uh, I'll start from equal sign if then bracket then I'll pick the cell which is J2 if someone scores greater than equal to I will copy greater than equal to sign because I have to use it uh, three four times type 75 percent then comma then uh, enclose a then comma again if bracket again j2 is less th uh, sorry e greater than equal to 60 percent this will be equal to b you have to enclose a b c d to show it as a text as a result I, uh, if bracket j2 is greater or equal to 50 then it will be uh, then it will show c comma enclose c capital c if j2 is greater or equal to 40 percent comma d and at the end just place comma and type f which means the remaining will be automatically f so enclose uh, the brackets when i pressed enter it gave uh, the first student b grade and when I double clicked it the formula was applied on all the students and hence we got all the grades. After grading I will just discuss uh, a very important thing that is very useful. How to copy and paste um, things like table, graph etc for example when i copy a table i have many paste options when i go to paste special i'll see a lot of options i can paste as it is but if you see the formatting of the cell the uh, column width are not the same when i paste it again from paste special with formulas i will get the table with formulas included when I click on a cell I can see the formula above 
in the command line again paste special I can paste it as a value as well uh, when you paste it like this you don't get the formulas behind every value now paste special as format you will only get the format of the uh, table just like that you can uh, you can do operations by copy paste as well let me demonstrate it so let's suppose I want to multiply a column with uh, 5 it's very easy I'll just type 5 uh, And then I'll copy the column that I do uh, that I want to multiply with the uh, uh, number five. I'll right click on it, paste special, subtract. Okay, so what I've done here is subtracted um, column mathematics from five, so all the values are in negative. When I add the same column again, it will uh, give me 5 as a result. So I can do other operations like uh, addition, again I can do division or multiplication. So I select all the things that I want to print it's uh, very easy just hold shift and you can select all the cells that you want to print then press ctrl P ctrl plus P from here you can select print selection here I can see print selection but it is not on single page it is on three pages uh, to change it to print it on uh, one page all you have to do is to go to no scale then fit sheet on one page that's how you do it now change it to landscape and it looks much better than the portrait so that's how you can print the selected area or the items that you want to print so that's all for today's video uh, please stay at home please stay safe uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you